Alex here with a Legal Nuts and Bolts video on perjury. Uh, this does tend to be something that I get a lot of questions on. People rant over their ex lying all the time in court, committing perjury, and not getting held to task for it. Perjury is a crime. It is a completely separate issue, totally disconnected from your court case. If your ex commits perjury, it's a crime just like any other crime. The district attorney has to prosecute it, and they have a completely different burden of proof. It's it's uh, beyond a reasonable doubt, which is much higher. They just have a different way of dealing with it, and contrary to what most people think, perjury does not always just get a pass. The thing is that district attorneys, criminal prosecutors, they look at cases in a completely different way. Whether or not they're going to prosecute them is based on different factors. And it's a lot harder for them to do it. It takes more resources. And as I mentioned, the burden of proof is higher. So it's, it's actually not that bizarre for a civil court, a judge in a child custody case, to find something to be deceptive or dishonest or even an outright lie and not suggest that the matter go, um, or, or not the refer to, refer the matter to the prosecution for a crime. It's not that uncommon. Um, that's really the best way I can explain this. People get so frustrated about it. And I get that the, the hatred for the ex is so visceral that you would love nothing more than to see them imprisoned for what they're doing in court. But from my experience, most lies that are said in court are not that cut and dry. And I really try to send that message in a lot of my other videos, like Stop Believing the Liar, like Overcoming Lies Moving Forward. Those are two different videos. If you want to go take a look at those, take a look at them and see how I kind of cover dealing with lies in family court, um, how, I, how I explain that it's much more effective to focus on your own case and present the truth than it is to obsess over your opponent's lies. It's just, to outsiders, to a judge, they can usually say, or they can usually pick up when somebody's being flaky, or they're telling a half-truth, or when they're exaggerating this, or when they're downplaying that, but it's not that common. It really isn't for a judge to just go, that is a bold based lie and you knew it was a lie. It just does not happen as often as people think. And of course, from your own perspective, because you were the witness to what your ex is lying about, of course it's infuriating because you know without a shadow of a doubt it was a lie. But from an outside, from an outsider's perspective, they don't know. They weren't there. So it's just it's not as easy as you think to pin your ex down as a liar, to pin your opponent down as a liar. It's just not as easy as you think to get them dead to rights in a lie. It happens, but it's rare. And I know at least one example where I've seen it happen, and the judge did take action because it was a bold-faced act of deception or fraud. It was There was no way around it. The judge knew for sure that it, it, was, it was a deliberate... Um, in, there was just no way around looking at that as as an act of deception or a lie. I'm trying to be vague on purpose because I don't want to bring up a specific case here. And um, the the court took action on it, and the person is, is facing imprisonment. So it does happen, but it's rare. And I just, if this video is frustrating for people who are really wanting to see their ex held a task on committing perjury or forgery or whatever else they've done, if it's frustrating, Take a look at those other videos because there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You just have to look at the deception in a different way and deal with it in a different way. You're not a prosecutor. You're not. This is not a criminal case that you're in. Um, you just can't. It's not as easy as you think it is to bring perjury charges and, and have them stick. It's just not. A person can can defend themselves in those courts by, and this is just one of many examples by saying that, oh yeah, now after the fact I realized it wasn't true, but I didn't mean to lie. I just didn't know, or I was confused. It's not that hard for them to raise that defense, and, and prosecutors know this, and judges know this, and so it, perjury is really at the extreme end of the spectrum on deception. Just to get that far is just, it's not that it's not that easy to do. So I'll go ahead and bring up those videos again for people who've been listening. If you want to see 
um, a better way to deal with deception in your case, whether it's a child custody case or any other type of case. Take a look at the videos, Overcoming Lies, Moving Forward, and um, the other videos, Stop Believing the Liar. So with that, I will go ahead and end this video.